A federal judge gave Cameron Shea 36 months and three years of supervised release once he is out of prison. Today, he heard from three of his victims in the courtroom, including King 5 investigator Chris Ingalls. I'm still a little nervous. I have to be honest about that. King 5 investigator Chris Ingalls reacts to the sentencing of Cameron Shea, one of the leaders of the Adam Waffen Division. They're a neo-Nazi militant group with a history of violence. Chris spent months reporting on this group, and because of that, he was one of three threatened with violence by Shea. I always feel like there's a possibility that there's somebody else out there that's taken this guy's place, you know. So I'm still a little bit nervous, but I'm happy that the criminal justice system is doing its thing and taking these cases seriously because they really are. And we've seen that today because this guy's going to prison. Before his sentence was handed down, Chris and a woman with the Anti-Defamation League shared their stories of being targeted by Shea. The woman talked about how her family lived in fear, while Chris urged Shea to get his life back on track. And he's got to find a way to let that hate go because he can get out of prison, but he can still be a prisoner of all the hate and the anger that's inside of him. It's been 18 months since Chris received this threatening letter, but he says this act of hate continues to impact him and his family. I think in my personal life, it's changed a lot of things where I do feel like I've got to look over my shoulder a bit more. I'm not paralyzed by fear, but I'm also not stupid about it. I realize that I'm on a target list, somebody's target list. But Chris says this has not changed how he approaches his job, uncovering truth, regardless of the risk. It's so important to cover these kind of stories because they're out there, and some of them aren't just talk. Some of them are very dangerous. As far as where the Adam Waffen division is now, we are told the group has disbanded, but maybe trying to get back together under a different name. The leader of that group, Caleb Cole, is expected to go on trial in the coming months. In Seattle tonight, Steve Solis, King 5 News.